<laughs> Welcome back to the show. This is Social Media Trends. My name is Ina Peters. Now, of course, on this segment, we talk about all the amazing news that trended in the social media scenes from politics. And of course, you know me, we have to bring in the ones that made us laugh as well. And I will begin the show with INEX de declaration of President Muhammad Buhari as the president-elect. We now off the just concluded presidential elections. Uh, we'll look at a tweet from the INEC official. At INEC Nigeria, that tweeted that Muhammadu Buhari of the APC, having satisfied the requirement of the law and squad, the highest number of votes is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Hashtag Nigeria decides. Now that is, uh, you see, I, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, um, hereby certify that I am the chief returning officer for the presidential election held on the 23rd February 2019. That election was contested and the candidates received the following votes and we see the, a the PDP with um, 11 million 262,978 votes and the APC with 15 million 191,847 votes making the party winning party um so we have some reactions as to this at kayo de oshinubi tweeted i want to personally congratulate the vice president elect or for this victory your loyalty doggedness and method of campaign is inspiring in this second tenor you must initiate laws that will better the life of nigerians as a professor of law and now that we have majority in nas that is the national assembly moving on to another tweet at um hem underscore me this is from instagram i know some nigerians are angry but the president has never been a problem for the masses but that if you think you are about to suffer for the next four years that's because your hustle game was never worth a penny now I'll go back to your board and redraw another plan for this life and this nation we shall all be favored congrats say baba again we look at another okay so at benuli also commented okay to everyone reading this you know, go back for bread throughout this next four years. Somebody say amen to that. And the, another one, finally, we have um, Tunde Tresh also commenting. They played the game better. What game is he talking about? Congratulations to him. But as for me and my household, no matter the hardship, we will enjoy this country. Why is everyone talking about hardship? Well, anyways, yeah, that is that. Okay, moving on now. Best of national coalition. So, of course, the elections came and it was over but we had to stick to our tv screens from sunday to monday down to tuesday first we had other things to do so it was like you know we'll watch and then come back who is winning and who is not winning but yeah there were definitely some moments that caught everyone's attention now there's actually there were actually two videos during the coalition process so the first one we see um <laughs> okay so for the first one we see during the um results for Kano State. Now we see him, this man sitting and looking at the person in you know, what they're saying via sign language and he's like, what's happening there? And we also see another, see another video whereby for some reason, when calling the amount of votes for the party CAP, he kept on saying 100 and, but we're only seeing 53 or so. So please let's check these videos out. 100 and 35 score CAP just a minute 290 CAP 135 no CAP 135. CC 77. <laughs> now that was really, really hilarious. You know what? I guess maybe the lights were not enough because I remember back in 2015, I remember the number of flashlights they had to use for that. But thank God we're done with that. So, of course, Buhari, President Buhari has won the elections and the office the apc took to their official twitter handle a poll now they tagged the poll hashtag buhari should let's look at that tweet for the from the official handle of the apc nigeria now that president 
Buhari has been re-elected, what would you suggest he should do better or give more attention to? You might want to add yours using hashtag Buhari should. For easy tracking, kindly retweet to reach more audience. Now, the options are economy slash jobs, fighting against corruption, fight against corruption, and security. Now, now, let's look at some of the response to this particular tweet. At, La at Larems Worldwide tweeted, replying to APC Nigeria, hashtag Buhari should reshuffle his cabinet, make sure the leadership of at NAS Nigeria, a true representative at official APC NG, should not be loop sided with appointments, fight corruption, build the economy, serious attention needed on mile two, Badagri Road. I like how he just chipped that in there. Like, you guys go, go straight to this. Moving on to the next one, at Sodium Ring also responded, hashtag Buhari should sir please don't concentrate on too many things i beg you in the name of god just fix power and create more jobs i beg you in the name of god power is the ability to do work nigeria will not work without power i beg you in the name of god i feel like i should have just said i beg in the name of god times three while i was reading this moving on to the next tweet at OV Ali, I believe hashtag Buhari should focus on providing 24 hours electricity after his eight years in office, provide jobs, strengthen the Naira like Ghana, and revive our industry. I also want at Aisha Buhari be made a full time first lady and giving jobs to do like Michelle Obama was to Barack Obama. Okay. Um, DLZ also. Responding to that, sponsor a bill to reform the electoral law. 91 political parties with almost the same number of presidential candidates. Madness. We should also embrace more technology in our electoral process. All right, now. So, of course, there are so many others, but these are the ones we could take. Now, yes, this also trended. So, uh, there's this saying, you don't have to wear capes to be a hero. Now, on election day, we actually saw some Nigerians that stood out and decided to do the extra go the extra mile just to make sure that elections in their polling units were conducted fairly and nicely and you know there was togetherliness in as much as people were coming to vote for several parties now we have quite uh, a couple of them but the first video you're going to watch now is um, a video of nigerian singer and writer timmy dakolo who actually went to his polling unit and was trying to um, arrange people and you know get the line working let's check the video out Check Amazing. Now, next up, we also see Nollywood actress and producer Omoni Oboli. Now, in this um, picture here on our Instagram page, she wrote, Got to my pool at 6 a.m. and started a list to organize ahead of INEC. Some good citizens at some point got me a table and chair and a public address system. We're still out here helping with the electoral process. There's peace and orderliness in my polling station. Amazing. And of course, we also move and we see TV personality Ike Osakidora, who also um, commented, he posted a picture. Oh, and our very own Andy Maraki actually likes this post. <laughs> but yes, Lord showed up. We organized ourselves at my polling unit and create other and systems. Fantastic. And finally, we cannot call all the heroes without mentioning this particular set of people to all the NYSE call members that served as INEC ad hoc staffs. We congratulate you, we celebrate you, and we salute you for all your efforts. These doors are our election heroes. Now, moving on, I don't know how this video, Raising Elliot. Now, um, I think if we can just watch the video and then you will see what I'm talking about. This is his name. Jesus. Elliot. Hello, Elliot. Elliot, Elliot, Jesus, lift your hands. 
Lift your hands. Mira Kalamasa. My good God. Barabar Sata Basa. Nombre Balisokoti. Zeti. Hola Zotokoti. Marabo Sheka. Jesus. Hola Basato. Hola Basato. Hola Baharito. Men of is commanding life. Rise up! Yes. Come on! Yes. Come on! Yes. Everything, everything is wrong with this video. Every single thing. First off, when he called Elliot, I feel like Elliot felt like, oh, it was time to get up. But then he didn't really, so Elliot did not, you know, Elliot's mouth started moving. And then Elliot, I remember, look, he had to touch my body first before I get up. And then, so when he called Elliot again, <laughs> Elliot stood up. But guess what? Everyone, I think this is really across Africa. A lot of people are commenting on this. Now, look at the first comment on um, Instagram. I too talk commented, the supposed dead guy just had to breathe. Dude was choking in the act. Who saw the tongue move? <laughs> I saw it. Moving on, we also see a comment from actress Juliette Ibrahim. Nafim. <laughs> okay. And again, moving on, we see, we see another comment. At Matthew Mensa, I said this is like this video has gone global. Am I the only one waiting for Daddy Freeze? Now, guess what? So, <coughs> so people went ahead to call Daddy Freeze, and Daddy Freeze responded. Now, look at the video that Daddy Freeze made, made you know, just <laughs> acting out Elliot. Yes. Elliot! Jesus. Hello, Elliot! Jesus! Elliot! Jesus! Jesus. Jesus. Lift your hands! Jesus. Lift your hands. He's commanding life. Iakalamasa. Jesus. Barabasa Tabasa. Jesus. Barabasa. Jesus. Hola basa baraba. Jesus. 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 Like I said earlier, this is blasphemy at its highest level. This is just wrong. And the South African president, Pastor Alpha Lucan, according to reports now, has been taken into police custody. And actually, there were actually claims that the particular person, the Elliot, apparently works for him he's been his camera man for a while now now the trend still continues we got this from today at tunde ednott's page some african countries have started resurrection challenge people are jobless sha. and then we see that man in the big drum yeah and then i think there's even another picture as well yes so it is now a trend guys but well, please let's end this raising earlier trend it's not something we should you know even promote next up on social media trends we have savage by staff now you know when you're done when, when you are you know graduating or you're retiring from a place you know a lot of that's when people are supposed to be saying good things about you but this is not the story of this particular story if let's um go to the first slide okay at dr olufumilayo Road. This happened today. Imagine retiring as head of a major hospital because unanimously make these posters about you and paste it everywhere. Whoa, I'm in tears. University College Hospital Ibadan staff are something else. This is absolute savagery. We need to guard the entire UHC community celebrate the exit of a tyrant. We will, um, Prof. Temi Tokbe Alonge will be fondly remembered for high level of corruption, sales of most use, and you know, the list goes on. If we can just take a few comments, I, I really need to take these comments now. Classic District wrote, when Niger workers call someone a tyrant, try not to believe them, please. If you have ever had the misfortune of being treated at UCH, you will know the attitude of these workers. Does anyone not think maybe this man doesn't tolerate their bad attitude to their jobs? I do not know him in case someone where, somewhere is thinking I'm defending a family. I'm just being sensible than most people. We see another one. Um, 
Too bad, but then he must be guilty of what he's been accused of. If not, how then would all the staff agree in one accord to do this? What do I do? And finally, the last one, your legacy is truly all you leave behind. There you have it. That word just summarizes. So let's all be careful. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Social Media Trends. You can tweet at us, follow us on all our social media platforms. Your tweet or comment might just be featured on the show. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.